Today's topic is teaching books for the secondary ELA teacher. We will be discussing the teaching books resource that is located in your portal and how you can use it to support the curriculum and instruction in your secondary ELA classroom. To locate teaching books in your district portal, type teaching books in the search application box and the tie will appear before you're finished typing. Don't forget to right click and add it to your favorites so it's easy to find each time you need it. To access the resource, click the tile. When you first open teaching books, there may be a slight delay as the application authenticates through Clever. Once complete, you'll see that the landing page is custom made for Palm Beach County Schools and your name will appear next to the word welcome in the upper left-hand corner. This login step is important because it gives you access to resources such as custom reading lists and other sharing tools that are not available unless you are logged in. The purpose of teaching books is not to provide digital copies of the book titles themselves, but to provide curated resources for you to use to teach a particular title resources for you to promote titles to students, and tools for you to identify new titles you might want to add to your instructional repertoire. Let's take a look at the resources by starting with a classic title, The Great Gatsby. We'll click the title in the results list to look at the resources. This results page gives you an idea of the type of resources that Teaching Books provides. The total number of resources varies title to title, but generally there's some sort of audio ex excerpt, a book trailer, some teaching materials, and very helpful in the classroom is a direct link to vocabulary.com and a chapter by chapter vocabulary list for this exact title. The really useful part about teaching books is this curved red arrow. Wherever you click this arrow, you'll be provided with tools to share the resources from the level where you click the arrow. For example, if I click the arrow here, I will get tools to share the resources on the entire page. I can use a bookmark, a flyer, make a label sheet, and I can share it in any of these digital platforms. It lets me know at the top exactly what I'm sharing. All the resources for F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. The great thing about this is that you can share it with anyone. No sign-in required and immediate access is provided. That means you can share it with teachers, parents, and students, and they don't need to log in to our subscription to teachingbooks.net. Let's take a look at a more contemporary title, All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and Brendan Kiley. I click here for the results page. And now we see a full set of resources. You can see that there's extensive resources for this contemporary title, 42 in total. I can share all 42 resources at one time by clicking this share arrow or I can select a resource and share just that particular one. Let's say you want to take this Meet the Author recording and assign it to your students as a way of introducing the novel. You would click this share arrow. It will tell you that you are sharing the Meet the Author record, book recording, and you can use any of these means to do that. But here is a link to Google Classroom where you can place the link, make it an assignment, and the students will be directed to this exact page with the audio and the text below so that they can get an introduction to the novel before you start. So this makes a great tool for our distance learning platforms. If you don't have a specific title in mind, the Browse feature has a wide range of filters to help you narrow your search and discover new titles. You'll probably want to start by seeing all collections. You can filter by any one of these categories or links, 
perhaps you want to start with your grade range or a particular cultural area or you're looking for books that have a particular type of resource. Let's begin with grades 7 to 12. And then you'll see an extensive list on the left of filters that you can add to your grade level filter. So maybe you're looking for books that relate to social studies topics, or you're looking for a particular genre say historical fiction. You can continue to narrow your um, search right down to the title level. And again, here we have our familiar results page where you can add this book to a reading list. To get a better idea of what a reading list would look like, let's take a look at the custom reading lists that are made for Palm Beach County. They're found under the Your Reading List link, either from the home page or from the toggle menu in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Here are the custom lists made by teachingbooks.net for us for our state award titles and some very specific lists for Palm Beach County Schools that include elementary resources to match our eBooks in Mac and Bia, middle school resources to match our middle school Mac and Bia eBooks, and high school resources to match our high school titles in Mac and Bia. We also have a special list called Booked on STEM. Let's take a look at the high school resources that match the eBooks we have in Mac and Bia. You can see that, of course, it's an extensive list. You can see that you can filter it just as you could before from the collections level. You can filter it by exact grade level, year published, and so on. You can download this list in Excel. You can duplicate the list, or you can share it in the same way that you can share any of the other resources on teaching books. So you can see here, we're now sharing the high school resource list for district eBooks, and there's the platforms to choose from. There's your Google Classroom if you wanted to send your students to this list to choose a title to explore. And then they could click over to Mac and Bia and read that title. Maybe you'd prefer to make a shorter list of books custom made for your students. Let's go over here to your reading list. There's a button, create a new list. If you'd like to learn how to make a custom list that you can share with your students, just scroll to the bottom of any of the screens under Help and Support, click Video Tutorials, and look for this video title, Creating Custom Reading Lists. Would you like to learn more ways to use the teaching book's resources, either in your face-to-face -face or distance learning classroom? Just click Help from the landing page for more resources, videos, and FAQs. Look for the teaching books tile in your portal to access the resources discussed in today's video. For more information on the products shared during this presentation, visit our website librarycurrent.palmbeachschools.org or visit our YouTube channel PBCSD Library Media Services.